Sean, it's Lou over at Apple Chevrolet. Just checking in with you again uh, with respect to the video I said I was going to send you. This is on the 2010 Traverse. Now, this is an LT with an all-wheel drive. Um, real close uh, uh, look at the front here. Um, you got your fog lamps up front, of course. It's um, the cyber gray in color. Um, I think you uh, were looking at a, a lighter shade of uh, gray with the silver that you came in looking for. I've got the 18-inch aluminums, uh, aluminum wheels up front. As I slide through, you got the indicators, uh, turn signal indicators on the side view mirrors to boot. Uh, real nice feature too, safety feature. Um, as I slide all the way through, you got your chrome door handles. Just going to wrap you all the way around it so you can take a quick gander at it. Doing the best I can here. It's awful bright, uh, even though it seems to be cloudy. It's still bright out here. At least I can't seem to really focus in on the picture here. But uh, do the best I can for you, and hopefully you'll be back tonight to take a peek at this and maybe take it out for a spin. Um, uh, as I wrap around all the way through, I'll get back into the driver's side. But I just wanted to give you a quick glance at everything uh, that I'm looking at here. Let me wrap back, back, back around real quick and walk you in through what I have to offer inside. Bit of a two-tone dash, as you can see. Kind of a gray with a, a lighter gray um, within the, the dashboard also. The center stack, nice little... I think you've been uh, researching the traverses that you know about the, uh, the, uh, the storage facility up top. Again, a larger one in front of the passenger seat. Um, You've got your iPod plug in here, or auxiliary jack, CD player in this particular case. This is not a six CD uh, disc unit. Um, the rest of the center sack um, gives you your uh, driver information center, what have you. Cup holders in a second, I mean, between the buckets up front. Um, uh, also cup holders in the door, so you have four up front. You got a leather wrapped steering wheel with redundant controls for the radio, um, and your cruise control is gonna be found here on the steering column also. A tilt and telescopic wheel, so it's a four-way uh, in and out of the dash and up and down. Uh, power seat, power lumbar, power recliner for your, your seat here. You will not lose any of those features when you add the leather. Uh, let me get you into the second row. Child safety locks first and foremost. Um, get some of this out of the way. I apologize. This is a 60-40 split bench. Again, you can fold that um, half of it down if you choose and or just the 40 portion down. So again, a 60-40 split. You can bring that down. It is not removable. And I think you asked that question. Um, I got more cup holders in the doors, a couple more in the center um, armrest. Um, bring that back up. Let me show you how this folds down. You can just slide it forward to gain access into the third row. You can do it a lot easier with the 40 portion that's on the other side. This will gain you into the third row where again you have uh, seating capability for three. Those seats fold down too and I'm going to give you a quick look at that but I'm getting a little lengthy here as, as far as time is concerned. Um, let me put this back. Fold these seats down for you and show you what all of this looks like when all the seats are folded down. Just take me another second. This is what the back looks like, at least as you approach and open your uh, tailgate. This is what the back of the vehicle looks like from the rear. I'm going to drop that down so you can see. Again, completely flush, giving you tons of cargo capacity if you're not toting uh, uh, passengers around. Again, uh, if you get a chance, 708-429-3000. Hope to hear from you really soon. Come on out and test drive. I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, my fuel economy is phenomenal for this V6 that's in this particular unit. I've got a uh, V6, uh, 281 horsepower. You're going to be at 17 on the street, 24 on the expressway. If uh, Oh, this is an all-wheel drive, so you're at 16 on the street, 23 on the expressway. Want to make that crystal clear. You also have your sensors back here uh, in case you're backing up and uh, you're getting too close to an object. Obviously, she's uh, going to ask you to reevaluate. So when you get an opportunity, give me a shout, 708-429-3000. Hope to hear from you soon.